Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if your Wi-Fi is not working after installing an update or feature upgrade on Windows 10 or Windows 11. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I would recommend doing would be to open up the search menu, type in CMD, best match, should come back with a command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, I want you guys to type in IP config, followed by a space forward slash flush DNS. Flush DNS should all be one word. Attach that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard. Should come back with Windows IP configuration. Successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. Now you want to go ahead and type in N-E-T-S-H space Winsock, W-I-N-S-O-C-K, space reset. Again, exactly how you see it on my screen. Hit enter on your keyboard. Should come back with successfully reset the Winsock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. Go ahead and close out of here and then restart your computer. And hopefully at this point, your issue should have been resolved. If you're still having a problem, something else we can attempt here would be to open up the search menu, type in settings, best match, should come back with settings. Go ahead and open that up. Select network and internet on the left panel here. And then on the right side, you want to scroll down and select advanced network settings. And underneath more settings, you want to select network reset, reset all network adapters to factory settings. So this will remove and then reinstall all of your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards, such as VPN client software or virtual switches. Your PC will be restarted. Go ahead and select the Reset Now button. And please keep in mind, you will need to have your Wi-Fi credentials nearby and accessible. Once we restart our computer, you will need to enter them back in order to get back online. Go ahead and select Yes. With that understanding, go ahead and select close, and then you want to restart your computer at this time. And now hopefully once you attempt to connect back to your Wi-Fi, you should be good to go. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.